now we have Mythic C2 server installed. We also have a listener on port 80. We have checked that the listener is waiting for incoming connections on 80 TCP. So the only thing we have left is to generate our payload and run it on the target. So let's go ahead and do that. We come back to our Mythic C2 server. Here we can click on the payloads button, which is, has like a hazard symbol. And we can generate new payloads. Here we'll select the operating system as Windows. We'll click Next. We'll select the C2 agent as Apollo. We click Next after we check that the payload format is WinEXE. Now all we have to do is select all the commands on the C2 agent. You can select a subset of them. However, for this demo, I'm just putting all of them in the C2 implant. We click Next and toggle the Include parameter to True and select our HTTP profile for Apollo. Click Next and we call our payload HTTP underscore 80 underscore Apollo. We click Create Payload and we see that the payload goes through the steps of gathering the files, compiling and obfuscating with Donut. Once our payload completes the compilation mechanism, we can finally download it into our file system and then we'll proceed to go to our target machine and we'll download the payload. We use invoke web request to download this payload into our target file system. Run the payload. We can see that there's some web traffic which is sourcing from our target machine. And if we take a look at our C2 server, we can see that the C2 agent has connected successfully. We're looking right now at a packet capture that shows that incoming traffic. But furthermore, if we switch to our C2 server, we can see that now we have a callback checking in. If we look at this process ID and we go back to our target machine, we can see that the payload is now running under that same process ID. We can validate that here. We search for Apollo process and we see it here in 5564 running out of C or backslash payloads backslash HTTP 80 Apollo.exe. Next thing we can do is interact with our payload, set an interactive sleep so that traffic starts being sent nonstop. We'll see the traffic being exchanged very quickly. And if we go back to our C2 console, we can list processes and dual source of operations that are supported by a C2 agent.